favorite part is meeting all of the people. And um, so each year when I come back, I look forward to meeting new people and seeing all of the returning people. And uh, people come back to Celebration and have been coming back to Celebration for 25 years. And, uh, and all of them love to tell the stories about, remember when it was on Camelback Road, or remember when it was over on Mayo, or whatever. And so I love that the fact that they remember it every year and, uh, and enjoy coming back so much. The thing that really inspires me is the gemstones. And um, so uh, I got started uh, when I went on a vacation to Brazil. And, um, and we were in a little mining town that's called Oro Preto. And most of our gemstones come from Brazil or a fair share of them anyway. And, um, and then when we were there and I was just seeing, you know, stones, that geodes so big that I could stand them um, and baskets full of, of stones that, you know, I could pick from. And uh, so that's really what got me started in this whole thing. And, um, and then it evolved slowly. I realized that I needed to be a gemologist, a goldsmith, you know, and then find my, my own personal style. And, um, and so I decided that my own personal style would be the reticulation um, combined with 14 karat gold. And, um, and then setting the amazing gemstone in something like this. And um, so that's, uh, that's how the process kind of evolved was, and that all happened over, oh, I'm going to say probably a, you know, five to seven year time frame before I really got it all to come together. This piece is actually a, a citrine and it has a fantasy cut on it, which means that it just it has those enormous uh, faceting um, qualities that we have right now. The, the stone faceting has become, you know, so different than what it used to be. We used to have just a few very simple cuts, and now they're just, um, it's just amazing what stone cutters can do with a very simple stone like a citrine. And uh, so this piece is set um, in the 14 karat yellow gold and the reticulated silver. And then I've combined with a lot of my pieces, I combine, combine another um, really old technique that's uh, chain mail. And uh, the chainmail is um, was used by the uh, the warriors in the Middle Ages when they went into battle, and so that's what I've done with this piece: is graduate the the gold into the silver, and then use my 14 karat yellow gold and reticulated silver. I think that the most important thing about attending the show and walking through the show is really taking your time. Um, the most important thing is, is actually looking at all of the different pieces and talking with the artists. Everyone has something really special and really unique that they're doing. And, um, and if you just walk by and look, you don't, get to, you don't get to hear all of the stories. You don't get to hear about how it's created. And, uh, and just about every artist here, Susan has selected them for their unique abilities. And if you don't take your time and, and move through it slowly, then I think you miss an awful lot.